Hello, back again with Jiva's Realm. Um, we last time we finished up our second story mission, hostile negotiations. Wait, let me bring up my uh, Imperial Commander here. We finished up hostile negotiations, and um, yes, uh, we won uh, barely, but we won, and then we had the chance to select the next um, the next side mission which was between MHD side mission and uh, the ally side mission of uh, Jedi Luke Skywalker and we chose Jedi Luke Skywalker because he's probably much more valuable especially so in the early early parts of the campaign and also in the later parts and the upgrade for MHD is it's okay it's not super necessary I'd say he works very good without the upgrade but the team is much better with Luke in play so we try to get Luke to join us today by playing the side mission A Light in the Darkness uh, just a reminder how our team looks right now we spent all of the XP on MHD and Onar we got brute strength for Onar which allows us to use his strength stat for all attribute rolls and is this all? Let's see, I can't remember actually. Um, let's see if Onar has something different on Brute Strength. Um, yes, and we can interact without using an action if we manage to clear a Strength test before us. We need to get, we need to get two searches in the Strength test, but that's, that's fine. We have two yellow dice and a blue dice, so it should be pretty, pretty often. Um, and for MHD, we got, where is he, where is he, where is he, we got um, Adrenal Vapor, which is, uh, in his vicinity, he can spend two searches when another ally attacks, or when another friendly figure attacks, to uh, give them a, a, an additional yellow die. And they also get a search for recover one damage, which, well, put all of this is great. So like another die for damage and another surge we can spend to recover damage, which we normally can't do in this, uh, in the in the in the app campaign is very good. Um, we also got the smoke bombs uh, for Shyla to to either hide one of our allies or uh, weaken one of the enemies. We want to use this on MHD. As you, as you will see in the mission, this this mission just will not come into play too too often, but uh, in the future missions it will be very valuable. Also, we got Sharpshooter for uh, MHD, uh, for, for, no, we, di we didn't get Sharpshooter for, for Vinto because we got it last time, I think. Uh, that's it, and we've bought a bunch of, bunch of stuff, like we got the DL44, we gave it, we bought it, we put away the, the uh, DDC Defender, uh, got the DL44 for, um, for MHD, then we got the E11 for Vinto. Got the tactical display, uh, the better pump for uh, MHD, so he can uh, more often give out these yellow dice and uh, also not be stunned, um, or much rather not be stunned. Uh, and also got the balance tilt for. No, we got the balance tilt before. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, we will start in the mission. Before we start in the mission, we will read the flavor text, which reads for this mission. Wait, uh, let me bring this in to view. So, a light in the darkness, a secret base on Tatooine, promises to hold crucial Imperial fleet movement data. Luke Skywalker has volunteered to use his knowledge of his homeworld to lead a midnight infiltration. Aid the Jedi Knight in his efforts to retrieve this vital intel. So this will be a, a covert ops or whatever you want to call it. So we will play a, a light in the darkness. Uh, it's threat level 3. Uh, after which we get to choose tier 1 and tier, three, tier 2 uh, rebel upgrade cards, like, like the, the upgrade cards we can buy the equipment. Okay, let's go. Uh, there's no allies to be brought because we don't have any allies right now. Nothing else we need to adapt here. So we will start in a mission, into the mission. Not entirely sure if there is... No, there's no, there's no flavor text here. And I will try to, to, to enable the sound, um, the Imperial Commander sound effects for next time. I just forgot this time and I don't want to mess with it during the stream. Okay, so we'll see if we, we are online, that's fine. Last time I forgot to actually hit the stream button and only record it. So even though it looked like a stream, it was never recorded. It, it was never streamed, only recorded and I put it up on YouTube. 
whatever. Um, hey, hi TV boy. I hope I hope your next <laughs> your next side mission isn't as brutal as the previous story mission. This was crazy. Oh my god, <laughs> the two walkers were fucking intimidating. Okay, so uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, TV boy, uh, he is running a similar campaign, which is Heart of the Empire. He's playing with Vassal instead of TTS, but also using Imperial Commander. And he's at uh, the second side mission? No, at the third side mission. It was the second story mission at the third side mission right now. I don't know what, what he picked. I, I forgot what he what he had uh, to choose. Whatever. Um, to save time, I already built the map. Uh, you can see it here. Um, so we can start right into the, into the thing. Into the... Uh, mission. Uh, we will be seeing Luke in this mission, but not at the start. Uh, and the starting groups already put here. It's a Stormtrooper group, a prop droid, and an Imperial officer. We see all of the map um, uh, right at the start, also in the app. You will see in a moment. So we place the tiles, we place uh, one door, uh, three, three crates, and one terminal, which we'll see in a moment. Uh, then we place the officer, which is here. Uh, then we place the stormtroopers, uh, the probe droid, which are which is here, and then we place the stormtroopers, which are here, and then uh, we place a regular weak we group, which is the what's it called? Uh, oops, uh, the the open or the, the additional deployment, uh, the additional deployment of the imperial player here, and they are deployed to here. Yes, here, and I probably put him here so these are we already know these guys all of these don't have to talk too much about it uh, the base is lies lies silent in the darkness as you shot as your shuttle lands slowly you walk down the ramp weapons ready deploy the heroes to the blue highlighted space uh, this is on, on uh, here on the on the ramp to the left side of the of the hangar bay or on the landing pad here apply minus two accuracy to all ranged attacks Ignore all other penalties to accuracy. So, hide or hidden doesn't do anything in this mission, which smoke bomb is probably going to be only used offensively this time. It's not. It's not horrible. It's fine. But of course, we would like to have. Uh, um, it, they also have a problem hitting us, so it's not. It's not too bad. Uh, in the distance, you can see a door connecting two parts. Of the base, the terminal must be somewhere somewhere behind that. Um, it didn't say what the terminal does. Um, in the I don't know the the, the imperial uh, command. I, some of the flavor text of the missions are, is missing or it's not displayed in the right order, or whatever. Uh, the terminal is there to um, to sabotage or to to download the troop data, uh, the fleet data, and uh, it will also do other stuff. So this is the terminal we already saw before. A rebel figure can interact with the terminal to download the fleet data. Uh, note here that the, the door is closed and locked. None of the figures, neither the, the Imperial nor the rebel figures can open it. And we need to go around the store, uh, push this terminal or put the, push the button on the terminal and then something will happen. And this will also be need, needed to be done within seven rounds. So the door is locked. Uh, before Luke can exit the shuttle, uh, before Luke can exit the shuttle too, you stumble in the darkness, alerting a patrol. The door is locked. The mission will progress when a rebel figure downloads the fleet data. The rebels lose at the end of round seven, or when all heroes are wounded. Standard, all right? And then we start, all right? So, but we, what I already deployed my 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 figures like this. So we have, uh, this is the deployment point. We have Onar and Winter in the front. We have Shyla and MHD in the back. Mostly because I probably want to start with Shyla. Maybe I, I'm still I'm still debating. Uh, the problem is, um, Emmett, um, um Onar. He's ha he still has the bodyguard bodyguard rifle, and he needs to probably always take the minus one damage for the plus two accuracy because he he rolls one, so he needs to be standing right next to someone and then also have minus one damage, which without a reroll. Oh, oops, oops. Without a reroll, this is this is hurting a lot, right? So he is not the best this mission. We will manage though. Uh, Vinto has the E11, which has a search for plus two accuracy, and we have detected this display, so he's fine. He's fine, really. And um, Shyla, she's she's having the duelist blade with balance tilt and smoke bomb and all of the tech. So this is this is fine. She's doing fine. Uh, it's only mainly Ona which I'm worried about. 
Okay, uh, so we have two two options basically. Uh, since I want to use uh, MHD's uh, Eternal Vapor, I want to probably start with Shyla. Um, strain two here. Uh, attack this guy. Hope I uh, attack this guy with the with the second yellow die. It's probably not best, but whatever. And oh wait, no, I go here and and pull the droid and then attack with the uh, with a normal and then attack with another one with the second yellow die. That's what I wanted to do. So we will start with uh, Shyla. But before we do that, we start our action music here to get in the mood of uh, defeating defeating the enemy. Oh, that's, that's actually... Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, so I think we will do that. Uh, strain 2 with, with Shana. Wait, I already did the strain again. Strain 2, and then probably strain 1, pull the droids and attacking attack it. So this is again strain one for Mandalorian whip. Uh, within choose a small hostile figure within three spaces and line of sight. Push that figure up to three spaces to its space adjacent to you, then perform an attack with your weapon which is green yellow. We will not use adrenal vapor right now. We will use it after the first attack. At least I think that's what I want to do. We will see. Because then we can attack with uh, green, red, yellow, which is better than attacking green, yellow, yellow, when we don't have a lot of searches to spend, because we only have three search abilities, and this is for two yellow dice, this is too much, so... So we will pull this guy here, and attack with um, green, yellow, against the black die. Since this is a melee attack, we don't need any additional range or anything, we just attack it. So this is pretty good, actually. We will use the search on Pierce 1, or or actually, plus 1 damage, Pierce 1, doesn't matter. Uh, we will deal 2 damage to the probe droids. And then we will attack again. Do we attack again? Yes, I probably... He has 3 health left. Doesn't really matter if we attack this guy or... Yeah. Uh, all of these have... have Three, three hit points left, and attacking the prop droid is better because um, he has um, he's a full activation instead of if I attack a stormtrooper group now, I'm only diminishing half an activation, which it's probably better to to attack the prop droid. So we will attack the prop droid now. We want to actually use uh, adrenal vapor to strain on on MHD. Use when another friendly figure within two spaces declares an attack. We are within two spaces. Add one yellow die to the attack pool. The attack can search for a cover one. We are also doing this because at the start of uh, MHD's activation, um, he recovers one of these three anyway. So I wanted to use it before we activate, activate MHD, so he can actually use the back to pump in the very first round as well. So uh, now we get uh, a, a red and a a green and red, because we use replace one yellow die with a red die, and then we get another yellow one from Adrenal Vapor. So, wait, let me... Okay, so we get this, 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 against the black of the droid. And this should be more than enough to, to get rid of him. Yeah, easily, easily. I mean, it's not so easy, actually. We can rec recover one strain with uh, the one search that is remaining, because this is cancelled, of course. This is remaining, we deal 3 damage, we recover 1 search, uh, we cover 1 strain with 1 search. And this removes the probe droid, which means he's defeated. Uh, and this also concludes Shadow's activation, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, we will try to remember that we can use get down here, also because we can uh, add a block or uh, an evade, as long as we say it before we roll, and then just roll strength, because we have brute strength, and we can roll strength for all of our attribute tests now. Uh, and if we use it now, then it's getting ready after he activates this round first. And he will probably dash to the terminal, which means I want to use it now, and as often as I can. So, because he will be, the others will be lagging behind him. My, maybe, I don't know. 
So we will try to... Yeah, we, we did China. We defeated the prop droids. Now it's the first period activation. It's the, uh, the, the officer. Uh, just a moment, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm back, I'm back. So we will be doing the officer activation now, which is at the start of this activation, each Imperial figure from three spaces of the figure discards one harmful condition or recovers two damage, whichever first. Uh, and then order a figure within a figure cost of three or less to attack Vinto. This is of course this guy here. Probably can see this. So the first will be this Stormtrooper shooting Vinto uh, with... The, oh, that's actually a wrong guy here. Wait like this and I probably wait before we do I have this to do before or afterwards while I can I can now say I want to use get down which I will use here because it's for unmitigated damage which is ugh, yikes oh my god yeah four damage so I will use get down um, I don't need to, to take any strain but I need to test uh, strength which is blue yellow yellow We will rescue these dice here. So it would be four damage with the with the block. I will, yeah, I, I'll make I'll make the test. With the block, it's three damage, and Winter takes three damage. We did this. The, this is the first part of the office activation. The second is move one to attack Winto. This doesn't happen because he moves one. Oh wait, did I did I have range? I didn't check range for the for the um, what's it called for the. Uh, but I think he had it. He had a four. He had four on the blue die, so he must have. Yeah, it's he needed two plus two. It's four. He should have had range. That's pretty. I'm pretty certain he had range. Yeah. So the officer moves one to attack uh, Vinto, which he can't see from here, but he can see Shyla. Can he see Shyla? He can see Shyla. Yeah, he can see Shyla. Yes, he can, he can see Shadow, uh, I think. Yes, this should be, yeah. He can see Shadow from here. And he will attack, but he will not hit because he needs, um, he needs plus two, which is um, one, two, three, four, five, seven, a range of seven, which he will not, he will not make. Not, not in any stretch. Yeah, I, I mean, the defense die. We also need this, <laughs> of course. So it's a range of three, which is not nearly enough, so he doesn't do anything worthwhile. But he also has cower. If adjacent to another Imperial figure, recover one damage. The adjacent non-focused Imperial figure with the highest figure cost becomes focused. This doesn't happen because he's not adjacent. He couldn't have been adjacent to anyone uh, uh, outside of maybe, oops, of maybe standing here, which from here he would have not have line of sight to anyone and we want to have line of sight to anyone. Ideally, Winter, but this didn't happen. Okay, that's the officer. Uh, we still have the um, Star Troopers and the weak ways to go now. Um, question is if I want to use Vinto or. Yeah, we will probably use Vinto here. Yeah. And we will strain two to here. Um, strain two to here. Uh, we use pinpoint shot. We don't need any of these. We have plus one accuracy, so we can shoot at anyone basically because we have a blue and a red. It's three, four. So distance two is basically automatic, uh, automatic for us. So we can shoot at any of these stormtrooper targets without without having to fear that we don't make the accuracy. So we will first shoot at which one of the two. Um, doesn't really matter. I'll shoot at this guy. It's probably the wrong... Wait, no, 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 no. I will shoot at this guy because he's more out of the way. Uh, he's a black. Don't forget we have pinpoint and we can use a tactical display for uh, an additional search if we need it. We don't need it. We can use the uh, search for plus two damage. Yes. And this means we deal only two damage. This is bad. Can we do anything to boost this? No, I don't. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. 
Mm, yeah, it's fine. I, I don't want to use a search here because it doesn't actually give me here. I do have the search for plus two. We don't need accuracy. Yeah. So we deal two damage on the on this on, on this guy here. And we will just defeat it with, um, with the next attack. I will attack... Um, <laughs> Probably this guy here. It's a bummer, really. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. I, I, <coughs> I will attack this guy. Um, yeah, I'll attack this guy now. Wait, I need to. I need better shortcuts for this. Don't forget, we still have. Uh, I could have used adrenal vapor. Wait, let me let me before I look at this. Do I want to use adrenal vapor? Because this is basically a guarantee, and I can recover the surge basically also guaranteed. But I... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let, let's use it to drain the vapor. Maybe? No. Let's not, let's not use it. Let's not use it. Um, also, it doesn't, it doesn't actually work because it's with not even two, within two spaces, so... So I can't, I can't actually use it, so, because MHD is too far back here. This is basically the same. It's actually worse here. Uh, we have 3 damage against 1 block. That's again 2 damage, and we can recover 1 search. Uh, 1 strain here, uh, and we pinpoint shot... Oh wait, pinpoint shot of course I will, I will use on this guy first. Um... Then we attack this guy for two, this is actually enough, and then we'll use pin put shot on this guy, so both of these are gone. I might have not declared uh, the attack on this guy properly here. Um, but this is enough to, to defeat two of them. And we only have one of them remaining. And I wanted to, use to, to still keep this one in um, uh, alive. To run him over with with uh, with Onar, right? So I can still push him and, and maybe defeat him with other means. But this is Winter. He doesn't can't do anything else, and they probably will be remaining here. And Vinto and uh, Onar and MHG will probably hustle to the to, at least in the direction of the terminal. Okay, that's Winter. Next activation of the Imperials is uh, the big ways at the end of each of this group figures activation. That figure becomes hidden, which only gives them the plus one search. Remember, we don't we ignore additional minus accuracy penalties, so this hidden doesn't do anything from them as well. So I should have used maybe the smoke bomb on the officer after. Oh, it's actually he was too far away. I think when attacking, we will each. Die, we already know of this. So they move forward to attack Vinto. Which they can do. One, two, three. He only needs to move three. They will attack Vinto, which is we have green green against the white. And don't forget we have this ready again. No, we don't have it ready. Oh my god, sorry. We don't have it ready because Ona didn't go yet. So we don't have it ready have it ready. We need to re-roll um uh, this dice, I think. This die with the surge. Yeah, not showing any damage result. We need to reroll this guy. They have um, enough accuracy, I think. Oh, they actually need free accuracy. One to three. Uh, but they have it with the surge because the surge. Oh, they actually have it automatically because they have one plus one on the on the card. Plus one for plus one search, plus one damage for for a search, and plus one accuracy for, for one search. So they have everything, and they they make the range. They have three damage against one block, which means two damage in Winter. Why are they all going against Winter here? He did nothing wrong. Oh my god. So um, where are they going? They move two to reposition three. Going to here. One, two, three, four. He's doing the same. Um, then we have green, green against the white. Where's my, where's my dodge? Where's my dodge now? 
Again, automatic range, so we don't actually need to be care careful about that. We don't need to reroll anything here. Uh, it's four damage against one block. It's three damage again on Pinto. And he has eight damage of 11. So what the fuck is going on here? What the hell? Okay. Um, and he's also moving two to reposition three. One, two, which is... Uh, one, two. It's better. Yeah, this is three from Pinto and more, more from anyone else. Okay, so this is the weak ways. We still have Onar and we still have um, we still have um, MHD. So Onar will start here with um, I guess we start with um, Haymaker. First of all, this is ready. We start with Haymaker. Uh, one strain, exhaust, and then test strength. The amount of searches determines how far I can push this guy and how much damage he, he got, which is not enough. Oh my god. Uh, let's push him here. I don't really care where he goes. I wanted. I mean, there's a small chance that I could have uh, gotten rid of it and completely negated the activation, but it's not meant to be. Uh, so I can still. No, I can't. I want him any other way. No. I can still push him, but doesn't really do anything, right? The rest he will probably just move. Um, he will. One, two, three, four. How much does he have? Four, right? Yeah, four. Four. And then he will use. When you enter a space. Okay, so I can. Uh, he, he will double move. So he will do one. And he will, when he enters here, he will just push this guy uh, into Winter's <laughs> threat range. Two, three, four, and tries to try to go as far as he can in this direction. Um, and maybe they will go after him, hopefully. And that's. I'm thinking of maybe straining too. Should I strain two? I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How much strain on Vinto? One, that's fine. I can... Um, I don't know. I should strain at least one, I guess. Yeah, I should strain at least one. I didn't forget uh, about... Um, Resp respite from Shana, but she was adjacent to the to the stone trap. But there wasn't really a way for me to do that, and I don't I didn't really need to, because she's re regaining strain very well on her own. So that's Onar. So next activation is the stormtroopers. After this group's activation, we find one defeated figure from this group as close as possible to another figure from this group. Move forward to attack MHD 19. So he was one, two, three. He goes here. He takes his two damage with him and attacks MHD with... This is automatic range because he's sitting right next to him. Needs three, but got at least three. Don't have anything to do here. Two damage. Which isn't too bad, I guess. Anything I can do here? No. Nothing, nothing really. Okay, so he moves two to reposition four, which he can't do. One, two, where, do, where does he want to go? Here, I guess. That's the, uh, then we need to reinforce one of them. Uh, we will just put him, I guess, here. Okay, so these are this, this is the Sun Troopers, and we still have MHD, which he will... No, wait. Do I want to go medical, medical loadout, loadout here? Or s double move? If I double move, I can get to here, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two... 
which is out of range of Onar. Because Winter only needs to strain one to get the yellow die. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I don't know. I want to use medical loadout for sure. Because I want to um, get one of the. Uh, uh, what's it called? One of these cards where I can just in, in passing. Uh, where is it? This is it. In passing, just discard it and um, heal Winter. So this is the first action. The second will be just moving. One, two, three, four to here and while he's doing that he will discard back to infusion for to remove um, we also forgot the uh, back to pump or we will do it in a second free damage this free damage is gone uh, we also recover the strain which we recovered before because we already had two strains so we have two strain now and that's oh we can exhaust this card during activation to choose yeah we can we can do this of course uh exhaust back the injector uh and recover another uh, damage on vinto which you will be glad I, about i think and now i can still strain two if i want to question is if i want to i can strain one <laughs> i can strain more than that uh should i strain one and where to Yeah, I will strain one here. Um, and I'll fully strain now, and I'm also focused because he's getting focused when he doesn't do when he doesn't attack. So that's MHD. Uh, and that's the end of round one, I guess. Uh, looks like it. We defeated a lot of figures, but yeah, we made a bit of headway, I, I guess. So, let's do end of round. Uh, Luke emerges with an ignited lightsaber, a valiant green blur, as more enemies rush in. So he is deploying now, um, to right next to the shell here. He looks amazing, by the way. Let's get a glory shot. He looks good. Okay, so he is deploying here, um, and of course his deployment card is this, uh, so we will go over this when we activate him. And we will deploy at an elite probe droid. Do we have one ready here? No, we don't. Don't, we don't. Search, droid, elite probe droid. Put it here, I guess. Uh, Imperial figures. Search. Where is it? There it is. And we will deploy it somewhere here, I guess. Uh, right next to the crate. Okay, that's good. Continue. We also deployed from Dorsion Hunters. Okay. That's, that's a lot. And we deploy them right next to the door. Let's keep them a bit annoying and keep them out of harm's way. The threat has increased, no deployment, that's fine. We are done with our end of round one status phase. Now we have Luke at our disposal. Uh, before we go, uh, before we start, we go over Luke. Uh, he's Luke Skywalker, he gets a 12 threat, which we don't care about. Um, he uh, has on his attacks, he, he only has a melee attack with blue, green and yellow which gets an automatic plus one damage, and on defense he gets an automatic plus evade, he defends with, a, defends with a white die. For searches he has plus one damage and PS3, which lightsabers always or, or almost always get plus PS3 to symbolize them slicing through everything. He has deflect after an attack targeting you or an adjacent friendly figure resolves. A hostile figure uh, of your choice in your line of sight suffers one damage, which is a very good combo with Winter. Uh, once during activation, you may perform an attack without spending an action, which just means he can attack twice during his activation. Uh, because usually allies cannot attack twice during the activation, but 
this is only uh, insofar as that they are limited to one uh, action that includes an attack pair activation. So if they can do an, if they can manage to get an attack without any active, without any action spending, then they can attack twice as well, which is what they used to give uh, uh, Luke here a second attack without breaking any game systems here. Okay. I guess Winterville will be having an, uh, an easy time with um, with the Stormtroopers, so we don't need to care about them. I don't know what's about what we do about um, Owner here. We will keep MHD for now here to to maybe give out uh, bonus uh, bonus dice here. I guess we should start with, with Luke and go one, two, three. Does he have four or five? He has a speed of four, which is not that, not that great. One, two, three, four. He can get to here and be next to Onar and attack these two weak ways, probably uh, eliminating, uh, defeating them, which we'll start here. So we will attack blue, green, yellow. Uh, blue, green, with against the black die. Don't forget we have automatic plus one damage. Plus we have a search for PS3. Are you kidding me? What is this? Okay, so we have two damage and two surges. Yes. So we deal four damage because we have... No, we deal only three damage. Are you kidding me? This can't be real. This is basically almost the minimum roll you can roll here. Uh, this is cancelled. So we get... We only get two damage. PS3 doesn't do anything. Two damage plus one damage is three damage on this uh, weak way. Um, okay, <laughs> I guess. Three. Which is the wrong one to attack, actually. We need to do it here. And then we'll attack this guy. Same attack as before. Hopefully a better roll. <clears throat> so this is very, very low roll for, for Luke, but I rolled again the same. Oh my... Are you kidding me? I... That... This can actually be real. Why? I don't actually need to roll this die because I can I can pierce it anyway. Either I can pierce it or it doesn't really do anything, right? I can use the, the green dot to pierce it, this for plus one damage, and recover one which it doesn't help. So um I can't free damage. Free damage on both of them, which is atrocious. Okay, then we go over here, we finish Luke's activation and see what the game has for us. Veteran! Oh, they want to attack Luke. Okay, so we can actually... Wait, can we... How... Oh. Yes, we can actually defeat uh, the weak ways. Okay, so move four to attack Luke Skywalker. So they will move two, first one. So it's the it's it's the, the Trandoshans attacking Luke. He will move to, from... Wait, wait, wait. He will move from here to here for two. Then he will attack. Don't forget, they have Relentless, which means uh, within three spaces, before the attack, the target suffers one strain. Uh, Luke cannot suffer any strain, because he's an ally and not a hero. I mean, he's a hero, but uh, allies uh, suffer strain automatically as damage. Right, so the next one is, uh, while attacking, if the Tadoshan Hunter is adjacent to the target, which he is, plus one damage to the attack results, and he attacks with blue and green, and he needs a range of three which he has automatically, because he's blue-green attack. And Luke at uh, defense with a white die, with automatic plus one, um, plus one evade, which I don't take any damage, but this still triggers. Um, after a ranged attack targeting you or an adjacent friendly figure resolves, uh, a hostile figure of your choice in your line of sight suffers one damage, which is, we will choose uh, this guy here. It doesn't really matter, I can, I can also choose. I will choose the other one here. Because I have line of sight from here to here, so I can see him. So this guy is defeated, and the second attack I will do the same probably. So the first Foundation Hunter is moving one to reposition two. 
to here and he's one, two, three, he's doing the same. So uh, Luke gets another damage from the automatic strain and the transition hunter again attacks. Automatic plus one damage like before. And we have an automatic evade for Luke. And after this, we can defeat the weak way. So we have two damage. Uh, it's two damage plus uh, Pierce two, which means we have only two damage still remaining. And plus bleed. So he's bleeded as well. No, oh, this is it's a damage. I want, to, I want to bleed here. So he's bleeded as well. And he takes two damage for a total of four. Uh, and uh, Trindotion is repositioning again. Reposition one. Right in front of the door. And we will use the, the deflect to uh, defeat the second weak way. To get rid of both of them. Okay. Again, li just line of sight needed here. Defeat the weak ways. The Indotions are still going, but I don't care. And Luke dodged one of the attacks, so that's very good. He still he still is hurt, and I I want to maybe get get him help with MHD, but not right now. I want to uh, start with um, with Winter first, probably. Wait, I need to do this. So we will with Vinto, We will uh, strain two and attack. Uh, Wait, I need to attack this guy maybe, and he, I can sling the damage onto him, but then I can only see the the officer, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's do it like this. Yeah, strain two. Strain two. Um. Attack with, uh, and of course I'm attacking the the one who's not hurt, because I I, I suspect I will I will have enough to defeat it, which I have. I can use the the search for plus two damage, which I will use the of the stun trap is defeated, and I will use the uh, gunslinger stuff to wait. Do I want to do this? I can also use to, to, to uh, yeah. I will not use it on the on the on the uh, stunt trooper. I will use it on the officer. With the second attack, I will attack the officer. Wait, let's do it like this. I will attack the officer. I still have pinpoint shot up, so I can guarantee that this stunt trooper is going to die. Um, remember, pinpoint shot would remove the the dodge from the from the. Um, from the officer if he rolls a dodge. So we will, the second will be, yeah, we will, yes, the second will be, do I want to use the yellow die of MHD? Maybe, maybe, because we still, we're still hurt here, right? And we can still recover, yeah, we will use it from MHD, so I cannot because he is full strength. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, so we will not use it, instead we will just attack normally. Against the white die here, and then regardless of what happens, the the stormtrooper is gone. But we can guarantee that we will defeat both of them. So we will use the search for plus the damage on the E11, which means five damage against one block is four damage. The officer is defeated. Wait, I don't actually need four. I only need two damage, so I can use the search for uh, recovering one strain and still get two damage through, which is enough for the officer. And then also, um, with Gunslinger, uh, deal one damage to the Stone Trooper, which means both of them are gone. And I still get to recover one strain, which is very good. Which means uh, the Officer is gone. Defeat and the Stone Troopers. No, 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 no. Defeat the Stone Troopers. Only the Imperial, uh, only the, the, what's it called? This guy, the elite probe droid, is still still going, and I strained two to get here, right? So I can strain further, I guess. 
Yeah. So that's Vinto. That's Vinto. Let's see what the game throws us. I mean, it will be the Elite for Croat, but we'll see what's going on here. Uh, self destruct at the end if he suffered damage, which he didn't, so this doesn't happen. Um, move free to attack Onar, plus one damage and plus two accuracy. And then move to engage as many rebels as possible. Okay. So move three. One, two, three. He still needs a range of four, but he has plus two by default, and he rolls a blue die, so he has automatic range here. Uh, he rolls blue, yellow, yellow against nothing of owner. And owner can use get down if I want to, which I probably do want to. Oh, wait. Maybe I can get rid of the surge. Yeah, I will get rid of the Surge. So he has 5 damage in the Surge. The Surge would be uh, used for plus 2 damage, which I will try to cancel here, or I will try to attempt to cancel with Get Down. So I will, um, if you pass the, so test Strength or uh, Insight, but I will use test, uh, I will test Insight, but with Brute Strength, I will just test Strength, and I will get a, an Evade if I pass the test. So, little yellow, yellow. And the chance of not making the test is very slim, but we already rolled bad, so we rolled very good now, so I passed the test. So of this, this yellow die is uh, nullified. He has still 5 damage, which he deals to Onar. 3, 4, 5, because he has plus 1 damage and plus 2 accuracy. He already makes the accuracy, we already checked that. So now he will move 2 to engage as many rebels as possible which means he will stand here, here maybe, so he's blocked and he, he's not within line of sight of anyone here. Okay, um, that's good, I guess. That's good, I guess, yeah. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, this is the probe droid. Now, we don't have any targets for Shana. <laughs> that's, that's a bummer. But we recover a strain with her if we double move. Um, yeah, that's probably that's probably one, what we want to do. We can now choose our uh, our order of operations here by ourselves. To do this, we check uh, who's actually who is more healthier. We want to use owner to attack one of the Trandoshans and maybe get something going here. And by going this way, I can basically also bump him with my what's it called. I completely forgot with Haymaker, so uh, I can maybe defeat it and still make way towards the objective. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. But first, I will probably use MHD. So if we use MHD, we will we use one of his actions to grab one of the um, the items to heal Luke. One, two, three, four. Go to here. One, two, and he still got the. Yeah. I also want to rest. Oh my god, no, that doesn't work. Oh shit. Uh, I can't. I can't use adrenal vapor. In this case, I I don't care. I I probably go first with honor. Yeah, we'll go first with honor. Um, this is all ready. Uh, he will not do anything. He will uh, move one here. Uh, attack the Tradition Hunter with wait, uh, green red against the black. Don't forget, we probably need to use minus one uh, damage if we don't roll very well in the. No, we don't. We don't. We don't roll well enough. Let's say it like this. So we need to use minus one damage to get the required accuracy. Uh, we use one of the strain to recover, uh, one of the surges to recover one strain, which means we have three damage against one, two, one block, which is two damage in total. Uh, two damage in total for the, one of these Trandoshans. And now we will. He still has four left. I will still try Haymaker here. I will still try Haymaker. Try to get something going here. Because I really want to get moving with him. 
I need four, right? I need four. Which I probably don't wanna don't going to get. No, I only get two. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't move this window. We only get two, so he gets a total of four damage. And now I can move with Onar. Uh, I already moved one. One, two, three, four. To here. Wait, no, 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 no. One, two. One, two, three, four next to the crate. Because then we can pick up the crew. Oh, wait. Can I? How does this work, actually? What does it say? What does it say? Exhaust this card when you perform an interact. That's right. We can't do it now. I'm not sure if I can use it now. Because I, I'm out of actions. I, I already used two of my actions for the round. So I can't spend an action to do the interact, even if it doesn't cost an action. So I guess I can't do this now. But there's a slight possibility be I maybe could. I don't know. I will not do it now. Let's see if that is. Okay, so this is all I wanted to do with uh, Onar. Which means Onar is gone. I still have Shyla and uh, MHD. So MHD will use one action grab one of the healing items, heal Luke, and get rid of his bleed. And move. Do we, do we, yeah, we need to move. We can't get to, to Luke other way, otherwise. I can't shoot as well, because I, I'm out of actions. And I don't have any anything that helps me. I want to rest as well because I need to. I need to rest to get rid of all of this strain. Um, nevertheless, we will start with uh, MHD. He will uh, use back to pump to recover one strain. Then he will immediately gain one strain to search the supply deck for another back to injector in in fusion. Sorry. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can see. There it is. He will immediately use it on. Uh, it, I mean, he will use it when he moves next to uh, next to Luke. One, two, three, four. Because then we don't block Shyla. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. She could go get to here, grab this guy, attack him. Yeah, we will do that. So. He will go to here, uh, discard the back down fusion. Luke will recover free of his four damage, and also I may discard one or more hammer condition. I also discard the bleed, which is very good here. This is MHD, and Shyla will move two strain. Yeah, she's almost she's fully strained. I just, wait, <laughs> let's do one strain for now. Um, where was she? She was here, right? So she's here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I can't see him. One, two, three. I stood here. One strain. One, two, three, four, five. I cannot see him. Throw my lanta. Are you kidding me? That's that's very very painful here. Very painful. Ugh. We want to do something else. So I used one strain here. If I do another strain here, I can go one, two, three, four. I cannot go to here. Oh shit. Oh no! I did this. I did this wrong. Oh my god! Okay, okay. So we will not use any strain on, on China. I guess. I guess. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five. One strain. Grab this guy. Or the prop droid. Probably the hunter.
That's a that's pretty it's pretty painful. I thought you're gonna do uh, If I don't do if I move twice I can get very far. It's also probably good. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five to here basically. It's not bad. Probably double move. I really want to attack with her if she can when she can not use when she cannot use Mandalorian Whip in any meaningful way. Like pulling the probe droid nearer to us would be would be a good action in the first round. But this they're all very well within reach reach. So I don't want to use an action and a strain for attacking weaker after that. So I want to attack strong. This is better if I keep it for next round and if I go in the direction I actually want to go. Because there will be stuff spawning as well, so... So that's Shyla. End of round two. Um, wait, this is, I know the door is locked. So, end of round two. We will uh, see what's going on. More enemies come rushing in. Of course they are. Uh, weaker pirates. We already have them here. And they deploy very far away. Um, okay, here and here. So let's let's deploy them like this and deploy them f forward facing to her, for them to have a chance of reaching us. Threat is increased. No deployment. That's that's scary. That's very scary um, because this is a this is a mission deployment here. So this was um, so start of round three, I guess.